Ladies and gentlemen, will you please remove your caps for the presentation of today's colors by the Fargo Public Schools Air Force Junior ROTC under the direction of Colonel Stephen Muse. Please remain standing until the colors are retired. The color guard today is commanded by Cadet Ethan Gerardson, accompanied by Cadets Nicholas Lapine, Jager Jensen, and Madeline Pion. Our national anthem this afternoon is being sung by Davies High School Group Vivace under the direction of Mr. Casey Bain. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still Thank you, you may be seated. Good afternoon. My name is Troy Cody, building principal of Davies High School. I would like to officially welcome each and every one of you to the 2019 commencement ceremonies for our eighth graduating class of Judge Ronald N. Davies. To you, the graduates. I'm quite confident that there are many mom, uh, proud moms and dads, grandpas and grandmas, uncles and aunts, brothers and sisters, and other family members and friends sitting in this Fargo Dome here this afternoon that are extremely proud of you. I trust that you will sit back and enjoy this day as we celebrate you on your accomplishments on making it to this point in time. You have earned this moment in time. I'm now pleased to introduce to you our presider for today's commencement ceremonies. She's an active member of the Davies speech and debate team, having served as team captain for two years and has represented us, Davies High School, at the National Speech and Debate Tournament for four years. She has involved herself in a variety of nonprofit work, including co-founding her own, very own organization to help memory loss residents. And also, she's been actively volunteering in our community with local dementia-focused organizations. As a leader of her efforts, she also initiated our Relay for Life here at Davies, where together as a school and a community, our students raised over $18,000 in just two years. She is the daughter of Dr. DeBas Ray and DeBasis Don. Next year, she will be attending Columbia University to pursue a major in neuroscience and behavior on a pre-med track. Ladies and gentlemen, students and staff, help me in, in welcoming to our podium, Miss Duty Don. Thank you, Mr. Cody, for that warm welcome. Now it is my pleasure to introduce those present on stage with me. I ask that you please hold your applause until they have all been introduced. Stage guests, as I call your name, will you please stand? 
beginning with Heather Bernal, who will be reading our graduates' names today, Davies Activities Director and Assistant Principal Lenny Olhauser, Senior Speakers Mackenzie Burian, Nishida Gaba, and James Cook, Davies Principal Mr. Choi Cody, Fargo School Board Members Mrs. Uh, Superintendent of Fargo Public Schools Dr. Rupak Gandhi, Fargo School Board Members Mrs. Christy Ulrich and Mrs. Jennifer Benson, Assistant Principals Dr. Dale Miller and Sean Safransky. We also have with us Kayla McKell and Nicole Tramel Posh of our American Sign Language Interpreters for today's ceremony. Please help me in thanking them for their roles in today's ceremonies. <laughs> Class of 2019, welcome to our graduation. This feels long overdue. When I think of high school, I often think of it with an analogy of a library. For me, high school is like a large library, and each of those thousands of books spread across a small room represents the variety of different people and activities we could have potentially met and pursued. At the start of our freshman year, we were each given this library card, which allowed us to check out an unlimited number of books with no set return date. It's through every year that our small collection expands, book by book, story by story. Every step we took in a new direction allowed each of us to build a small collection of experiences, our mini library. However, no book is perfect without its fair share of battles. Whether we sat frustrated over a class, faced the dreaded ACT, worked our way through a difficult home, or confronted those inner battles, we made it. So as we sit here today, ready to return our imaginary collection, I want each one of you to capture these stories for one last time. I know every library book has an expiration date, but good memories never do. I hope that none of you forget the faces and moments you've captured here at Davies. Today is our day to soak up the 18 years it took to get here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to introduce and call to the podium the superintendent of the Fargo Public Schools, Dr. Rupak Gandhi. Dr. Gandhi has completed his first year as superintendent. He and his wife and son arrived to Fargo after spending time in the states of California, Texas, and Colorado. Please welcome Dr. Rupak Gandhi. Congratulations. On behalf of your parents, friends, teachers, administrators, and everyone else whose lives you've touched, let me be the first to express how incredibly proud we are of your achievements. You have triumphed to overcome obstacles, demonstrated resiliency, and developed a will to meet all of your goals. That is no easy feat. I will always remember the class of 2019 and this year's graduation ceremony as it's very special for me for multiple reasons. First, you were the first graduating class during my tenure as a superintendent for Fargo Public Schools. Although I don't know all of you personally, I know that I'll be able to look back on each of your successes and share how proud we are for you to represent Fargo Public Schools. For those of you I have had the privilege to know you personally, you will be my daily reminder to never under underestimate the potential of our students. Thank you for reminding those of us that are sitting on the stage, your peers, your family, why we support you. Secondly, this year's special for me because I sat in your seats two weeks ago. On May 11th, I had the opportunity to participate in my own commencement ceremony for graduate school. So I know how special this truly is. I know that today just isn't about the ceremony, but it's about celebrating the culmination of hard work throughout your educational journey. It is about celebrating the relationships you've built. It is about celebrating the support you have received. And it is about celebrating your independence as you embark on a new chapter in your life. I know that as you sit in your chair, hearing me speak probably isn't your biggest priority. So I also promise you that I'm almost done. As you leave here and look back on today and your accomplishments thus far, never forget who you are. Know that you've already proven your potential now it's time to meet that potential. Additionally, please keep in mind that you're never alone. Today, you become a member of the Davies Alumni, an exclusive group that will always support one another 
and uphold standards of excellence that make our community gleam with pride. Your journey forward may not always be easy, but you've demonstrated the skill and the ability to overcome any obstacle thrown your way. Your future is also the future of Davies. I look forward to hearing about the many accolades you and your classmates will soon earn and will take pride in calling you Davies Eagles. Remember to come back and visit us, share your successes, and be role models for future Eagles. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Gandhi, for those great words. Your strong leadership this past year and for many years ahead of you as you lead our, di our school district. And congratulations on your recent earning of your doctorate. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please help me in thanking Dr. Rupak Gandhi with a warm round of applause. Our next speaker is a National Honor Society officer, as well as a four-year student council member. She was a two-time captain of both the varsity cross country and track teams. She was part of the city's Fill the Dome board, where she worked diligently to feed hungry families across our community. If you think that's all she does, she's also involved in Key Club, Shape, and one of my choir buddies for four years. And she can beat you in any power walking race. She's the daughter of Sean and Jenny Burian. She'll be continuing her education at Concordia College in this fall. Ladies and gen gentlemen, delivering her speech entitled, More Than a Mural, help me in welcoming to the podium the sweetest person I know, Miss Mackenzie Burian. teachers, administrators, fellow seniors, family, and friends. As we all know, there is a mural at Davies High School. Walking in as a freshman, it is impossible not to notice. Placed in a foremost position, it is difficult to not regard on a daily basis. I remember finding myself staring at it a multitude of times my freshman year, simply admiring it. At the time, there were no me memories to reflect upon and no meaning to the symbols, just simple appreciation. Looking at the mural as a senior, there is certainly a deeper meaning behind the artwork. It serves as a reminder of not only an important part of our history, but also who we are as Davies Eagles, impactful, strong, and brave. The main focal point of the mural is none other than Ronald N. Davies. As most of us are aware, he served as a judge in the then controversial court ruling to desegregate the traditionally all-white Little Rock Central High School. He took on the powerful Orville Fabus, governor of Arkansas, to take a stand in the name of justice and what is right. His ruling created a movement that got the nation talking and took a step forward in creating the country we all know today. Just as Davies, we are now all equipped to take a similar stance in the future. With our four years at Davies High School, we have been given the tools, knowledge, and abilities we need to leave our own impact on the world. As we all continue on to our next journey, it is simply up to us to use them. Elsa portrayed in the mural is the 101st Airborne Division, sometimes referred to as the Screaming Eagles. They were ordered by President Eisenhower to ensure the safety of the Little Rock Nine on their dangerous journey to school. Protecting the Nine from violent protests, the 101st Airborne Division made desegregation possible and helped uphold our 14th Amendment, which guarantees every American equal protection of the laws. Just as they use their strength for good in Little Rock, we as Eagles have that same opportunity to use ours. There will be times when we witness cruelty, prejudice, and injustice. In these times, remember that you too are a screaming eagle and speak up for what is right. After observing the painting for a little while, upon closer glance, one may notice members of the Little Rock Nine making their walk into school. We may have sometimes felt that walking through the wind tunnel was hard, but imagine having to walk through extreme violence, both physical and verbal, to simply head to your first period class. The Nine students did just this every day, all for the desire of a good, equal education. 
At the time, they couldn't fathom the impact they were making for students across the world. But because of their acts of bravery, they were able to make one of the most public advancements for civil rights in our country. Most of us will luckily never face such injustices in our lifetimes, but there will be moments when we are faced with conflict. In these times, remember the powerful legacy behind the name of our high school and let that shape your actions. The mural sure looks different now than it did walking in as a freshman. It is filled with memories of friends, sporting events, late nights of homework, new knowledge, fulfilled goals, and hopefully a little bit of its history too. Seniors, Davies has given us all we need. We have the tools to make an impact. We have the voice to use our strength for good. And we have the inspiration to be brave in the face of adversity. Use what you have learned. Remember the legacy our school was born from. And get ready to take on the world. Thank you. Thank you, Mackenzie. At this time, the senior choir members will be joined by our underclassmen choir members and will be giving their final performance. The Davies High School Concert Choir under the direction of Mr. Casey Bain will be singing an acapella song entitled The Road Home by Mr. Stephen Hollis.
am now pleased to bring a very special friend of mine to the stage. She's the daughter of Do Dr. Anu and Vijay Gaba. She was actively involved in philanthropy and youth, key club, piano, and a member of our National Honor Society. As a talented athlete, she's a dancer and a figure skater, where, where she received her silver distinction by the U.S. Figure Skating Club. You will always find her doing cartwheels or singing Hamilton and Queen. Her bo Bohemian Rhapsody rendition is pretty great. This fall, she'll be attending Tufts University in Massachusetts, where she will be continuing her education on a pre-law track. Here to give her speech titled, Flow on the Class of 2019, I am blessed to present your future president, Ms. Nishida Gaba. Good afternoon, friends, family, and of course, Davies High School, class of 2019. One of my most vivid memories from elementary school is the flood of 2009. I was in second grade. I'd wake up on weekend mornings, step outside my house, and help the families of my cul-de-sac make sandbags to protect our houses. How helpful I actually was, debatable. I was just excited about the two weeks we had off from school. And before we all left for this two week break, we stacked our chairs on our desks and moved everything off the floor. This was probably the first time that I felt like I was a part of something. All of us were a part of it. Like a river, we started out following a similar path in elementary school. We were generally taught the same lesson plans, we were friends with whomever was in our class, and every girl at Centennial had a crush on Harrison Thoam. <laughs> then we got to middle school and the river widened. We found our awkward phases, became a little less shallow, and maybe hit a few dams along the way. However, we kept flowing and eventually made it to high school. As freshmen, we walked into Davies and feared the judgment of getting lost on our way to class. Then we entered our sophomore year and we started to get more involved. We joined sports, clubs, and music groups. Then we entered the dreaded junior year. We took our first ACTs, attended our first prom, and started to develop a case of senioritis just a little earlier than expected. Finally, we entered our last year here, our senior year. We painted our homecoming vans, sat around a campfire at the senior retreat, and stopped caring so much about our unfinished homework. We made new friends. I think most of us sitting here today will be genuinely sad to say goodbye to at least one face that before today was for the most part irrelevant, just another face in the hallway. Today, we're sitting here at our high school graduation on the cusp of the real world. Davies High School is the valley that the current of our river has flowed through and widened, and today we're starting to diverge. We're being thrown into a world we're not very familiar with, but this unfamiliarity is exciting. Egypt has the Nile, India has the Ganges, Brazil has the Amazon, we have the mighty red. Rivers have always played an undeniable role in shaping a society. And keeping to this river motif that has probably gone on longer than any of you expected, I have no doubt that the class of 2019 will be a force to be reckoned with, changing the worlds we enter. I want to see Megan Lundstrom run in the Olympics and Astrid run for Senate. And Jack Bowe might be the only one of us to ever figure out what a hedge fund actually is. In a few years, when we look back at our time at Davies High School, we won't remember who had the best grades or who was the most popular. Rather, we'll think about the friendships we had, the teachers we learned from, and the memories we made. We've all heard the saying, it's not what you know, it's who you know. I'd like to add that it's also how they know you. Your character is who you are and what counts the most. A character is a legacy. Make it a good one. I want us, the class of 2019, to take these lessons we've learned wherever we go. I want us to be the river they can't hold back. Congratulations, good luck, and from the bottom of my heart, thank you for a great four years. Thank you, Nishi. Our final speaker today is a close friend of mine, James Cook. 
James is a son of Christina and Dale Cook. He's one of the most politically vocal people I know and is never afraid to speak his mind. He's also the member of our philanthropy and youth club. He's an active percussionist in both our wind ensemble and jazz band. He's part of the economics challenge team, served as our class representative, secretary, and vice president of our student council, and is also part of our national honor society. As an active member of the community, James has also served as a co-lead on the Pay Inner School Board, and you can catch him at Century Cinemas anytime. Thanks for the extra popcorn and the free movie passes. James will be attending the University of Minnesota Twin Cities in the fall to pursue a degree in economics. Presenting Today Doesn't Matter, I'm pleased to welcome to the podium the biggest procrastinator I know and my very first friend when I moved to Fargo, Mr. James Cook. administration, family, friends, and the class of 2019. I thank you all for taking the time to be here today as we celebrate an inevitable end and a promising beginning. Across the nation, around 3.6 million students will graduate high school this year. The greatest percentage of these students will too graduate as Eagles. Even here today, there will be two other schools sitting in these exact seats, all meeting the same 24 credit requirement. And when this is the case, when it seems as if the universe is screaming, you are not unique, what could possibly make this day so special? On August 25th, 1955, a federal court judge from the great state of North Dakota received a special appointment to the Eastern District of Arkansas, unaware of what would be there to greet him. Days later, this man, Judge Ronald Davies, delivered a ruling that would earn him a place in history. Though he was involved in many key legal monuments prior to this, he remains a titan of justice for the years of impact from this single point in time. On August 27, 2015, we walked through the doors of Judge Ronald N. Davies High School, not quite sure what the next four years would have in store for us other than a guaranteed nightly packet of math homework. In the about 700 days we spent at Davies, yes, it was only 700, it seems almost impossible to recall a single one in which a teacher would not hear one of us whine or utter the phrases, how does this apply to the real world? Or why do I have to learn something I will never use? And to an extent, this is true. Outside of any potential collegiate activities, I don't foresee many of us needing to know that number 107 on the periodic table is Borium. I don't foresee many of us needing to jam out to the quadratic formula or derivate a complex equation in calculus when a calculator could provide a more accurate result. And I'm sure we will never need to know what Winston Smith said on page 157 of 1984. What I do know is that while we are all more learned from our lectures and labs and quizlets, these tasks were not the true mission of our education as a curriculum can say only what you will be taught, not what you will learn. From the science department, we learn that mistakes will happen, a lot. But that does not mean you just give up. You take these mistakes and learn from them. From the social science department, we learn that in order to create a better future, we must embrace the present and look to the past for guidance. From the math department, we learn that problem solving, though difficult in the moment, can be very rewarding in the end. And from the English department, we learned not to judge based on that surface level, but by the content that each individual possesses. These were the lessons that were never tested, nor graded, but truly mattered. So when you look at your report card, you can say it's just a letter it doesn't matter. When you look at your ACT score, you can say it's just a number. It doesn't matter. When you look at your certificates and trophies, you can say they're just plastic and paper. They don't matter. None of that 
really matters. That is not what these past years, or even today, are truly about. It is about how we grew from these moments and milestones. We don't wear these caps and gowns to show the world we are better than each other or that our high school experiences and accomplishments hold us higher than another, but rather to display our solidarity, to project the equal plane we all stand upon at this moment. The only thing that can separate us is how we graduates decide to go from here. Will you continue to work hard, be yourself, and strive to constantly do the right thing? to invest into others as countless have unto you, to retain and live the lessons which have molded you, or will you fall short? Like Judge Davies, we worked for years on issues which in the eyes of the universe seem so trivial. But similarly, one day, this day, marks the point from which we can start making history. Today isn't special. It's what starts tomorrow, what we choose to stand for and make of ourselves that truly matters. Good luck, Davies. At this time, our senior band members will join the underclassmen to give you their final high school performance. Today's selection is You've Got a Friend in Me, arranged by Randy Newman.
Good afternoon. My name is Hannah Creer, a proud graduate of the 2019 class from Davies High School. Did you know that an alma mater is the official song or anthem of an educational institution and its tradition has been in use since 1808? Did you also know that the Davies alma mater was premiered last year at the music department concert? This project was funded in partnership with the Davies Booster Club and Davies Music Department with lyrics created by our own Davies students. Please stand and join me in singing our Davies alma mater. The lyrics can be found on the back cover of your program. Our senior class has created so many different memories over the course of this past year. It truly has been a year filled with much laughter and even some tears. I'm extremely excited to share with you at this time our senior class slideshow. A huge thank you goes to the journalism teacher, Ms. Jasmine Ranke, for her efforts in helping to capture some of the memories of this past year. Seniors. Over the course of this ceremony, it is my sincere hope that each and every one of you have fully enjoyed this day and this very moment in time. For this is indeed your moment and your day. A day where we all sit here and congratulate you. 13 years have come and gone, some of you from a very traditional path, while others, I'm sure, you have many unique stories that accompany the path that led each and every one of you to the very chair that you are sitting in today. Today, we all gather here to commence your journey that leads you to the diploma that you will be handed in just a few short moments. Graduates, I ask that you take a look around at the many faculty and staff that have joined you in this day. At this time, I'd like to ask all of our staff members to stand. Staff, thank you for your investment into the lives of each and every one of our graduates here today. You are indeed making a difference in this world. Students, these staff members could have chosen to be in many other places, yet today, guess what? They chose to invest in you and in your day. They chose to be here with you. This is an example of the hardworking dedication and commitment that our teachers and our staff have, and I hope that you take it never for granted. Staff, thank you for your commitment to our students and to our community. You may be seated. I'd also like to offer a very quick thank you to a couple of staff members who are retiring. Mrs. Donna Ajo has been a health science teacher at Davies High School since our doors opened. Her dedication to our school and students have been extremely appreciated. Donna, in the front row here, thank you for you, uh, all of you've done and we wish you the very best.
not present today, but Ms. Sylvia DeCre has been serving as a speech language teacher in our district for several years. Some of you may know Sylvia. She is going to be hugging her grandkids and enjoying each day as if it were a Saturday. Sylvia, thank you for uh, all you've done for our students and we wish you the very best. <laughs> students, I also want you to know that as your principal, I could sit here and speak publicly about how as a class you've brought so many great memories in your academics, in your athletics, such as our most recent four-time girls track championship team, or about your success in our fine arts. But I'm going to choose to take this moment to simply say thank you. Thank you for another great year at Davies High School. I wish each and every one of you the very best in whatever your next step in that journey may be. At this time, would the 2019 graduating class from Judge Ronald N. Davies High School please stand. Superintendent Gandhi, members of our school board, friends and family members, these students have met all of the requirements for graduation that have been set forth by the North Dakota Department of Public Instruction and the Fargo Public School Board, District Number 1. It is my privilege and my honor to present to you the graduating seniors from the 2019 Ronald, Judge Ronald N. Davies High School to receive their diploma with all of the rights and the privileges that go with it. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 2019 graduating class from Judge Ronald N. Davies High School. Graduates, you may be seated. Would the first row and following rows please come forward to receive your diploma. Mohammed Ali. Carolyn Altendorf. Wyatt Amundsen. Olivia Annis. Joshua Anderson. Zainab Airy. Jewel Atkins. Devin Austinson. Astrid Axman. Alexandra Bear. Madison Baki. Megan Barnick. Hunter Barth. Jacob Batesel, Elizabeth Bauer, Ruth Meculum, Isaiah Sandry, 
Amin Smith Jones. Michael Bauer. Brianna Becker. Avery Byer. Bakash Bajul. Connor Bosch. Jack Bob. Zachary Boyanovsky. Abigail Brooks. Brooks Brown. Ian Budke. Mackenzie Burian. Rachel Berkman. Allison Baroud. Bryce Bai. Andrew Carlson. Irvin Chadra. Hiba Chadri. Velma Chapalitz. George Christensen. Jake Collins. Adrian Contreras. James Cook. Connor Dalving. Macy Danielson. Dylan Donhauer. Duty Don. Kendra Dawson. Mokhtar Diop. Niamde Saku Taylor. Jackie Dixon. Faith Dolo. Daniel Drelu. Sasha Durand. Holly Durbin. Emily Duro. Ashlyn Eagleson. Peyton Eagleson. Sydney Eggy. Gabriel Engelter. Rachel Erickson. Truman Ivan. Nikum Wenayo Faustin. Alyssa Flowers. Jesse Forknell. Sophia Trippier. Lauren Fury. Ahmad Gall. Nishita Gaba. Lindsay Gerhold. Reyesa Gira. Kylie Glover. Everett Glower. Thomas Godfrey. Riley Gellner. Josephine Gumpf. Jenna Gorder. Jack Gothberg. 
Charles Graff. Jake Graff. Blake Grenial. Ishika Gupta. Damian Hagenson. Casey Haldis. Aaron Halilovich. Samuel Hall. Claire Hanke. Cade Hansen. Lauren Hansen. Parker Hansen. Cole Hartle. Rania Hassan. Grant Hagen. Vanessa Helner Born. Dylan Helm. Bridget Henny. Aubrey Heyer. Benjamin Hafes. Samantha Horner. Bradley Hubert. Journey Hughes. Saido Isak. Braden Iverson. Grace Ivesdahl. Gracie Jackson. Nawal Jasper. Annika Johnson. Paloma Johnson. Tommy Johnson. Trey Johnson. Gavin Jorgensen. Jana Jorgensen. Tyler Kath. Michael Kelly. Laura Kenlinger. Cassidy Kent. Reagan Keeland. Amanda Kittleson. Jaden Clabo. Kayla Klein. Sean Klein. Michaela Knudsen. Matthew Komarowski. Princess Kapuyu. Trevor Kramer. Hannah Creer. Sarah La Liberty. Mitchell Larson. Stephanus Latachan. Taylor Lawrence. Annie Lee. Sarah Ledoux. Victoria Ledoux. Stacia Legacy. Jay Lewis. 
Isabel Lorenz. Janita Luckett. Megan Lundstrom. Kyle Mack. Jaden Mares. Antone Marchman. Jacob Martyrdom. Alexis Matter. Dooley Mayor. Alexis McCoster. Jenna McKay. Daniel McWethy. Shelby Meacham. Brent Meyer. Davin Minimilla. Aaron Mitleider. Fatima Mohammed. Sumaya Mohammed. Brody Moore. Sokiri Manokajo. Brayton Machenbaker. Mackenzie Mullins. Abigail Mandemba. Patrick Manyanenza. Matthew Niemer. Brianna Wynn. Stefano Negrelli. Innocent Noah. Hiba Noraldine. Mohammed Noraldine. Braxton Nyland. Caden O'Connor. Ethan Olson. Jack Olson. Sydney Olson. Todd Olson. Faras Omar. Brooke Orvidal. Caroline Osborne. Michaela Overholt. Obaria Nesimi Owate Chujer. Eric Palm. Alyssa Paper. Marlene Pollock. Aiden Potus. Emma Polsinelli. Ethan Quinlan. Mackie Rye. Cameron Rowe. Jacob Reef. Haley Rorick. Jaden Rose. Connor Rutledge. Samantha Rutledge. 
Cameron Rowe. Elise Rue. Hope Rumpf. Zachary Rundy. Noah Sar. Juliet Sampson. Dylan Sartwell. Hallie Sartwell. Carson Shadler. Christopher Schmidt. Julia Shook. Mackenzie Schroeder. Rachel Schrader. Tirza Scott. Hunter Sebestel. Hannah Seibel. Rebecca Seibel. Andrew Selinski. Junting Shen. Emma Shook. Soda Shube. Austin Simmons. Hope Simon. Alexis Scherseth. Zachary Snyder. Hayden Stahl. Sina Stevens. Skylar Stroh. Madeline Sturma. Maxwell Sunderland. Briar Sylvester. Jamesetta Taylor. Megan Tessier. Harrison Thome. Andrew Thomas. Kinsey Thomas. Sydney Thomas. Ella Thorson. Eric Tiongson. Ella Troutman. William Tupa. Jaden Van Persum. Brett Vetter. Avery Volk. Aiden Volmers. Addison Wagner. Madigan Walters. Michaela Warner. Taylor Webster. Logan West. Emily Westrick. Parker Wieland. Grant Wimkin. Amber Wills. Jared Winter. Morgan York. Cody Youngren. Jackson Zander. Hannah Zastapol.
Will the class of 2019 please stand? Well, graduates, this portion of our journey is complete. Will you all please join me in the cer ceremonial turning of the tassels? <laughs> Just hold it there. <laughs> Congratulations, graduates. We did it. This concludes Davies High School's cl sc Class of 2019 Commencement Ceremony. On the behalf of the entire graduating class, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us on this day of celebration. Good luck, graduates.